Well, good Wednesday morning. Pastor Hayton here to share a few minutes with you on this uh, beautiful day of life. And I just want to tell you some of the greatest blessings of my life are associated with my church family. And you know, I'm glad that as many as believed on his name, to them gave he power to become the children of God. And if you're a child of God, then you're my brother or my sister because we have the same father. And I'm so thankful for my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I know we often sing, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. And indeed, I am happy to be a part of God's family. And you know, one thing that is such a blessing in being a part of the family of God is that we are privileged to share our blessings and we're privileged to share our burdens. Now, we have each Sunday morning at the Lighthouse Chapel what we call family time. It's about the first 15 minutes or so of our assembly coming into the sanctuary before we begin our worship. We just have family time. And sometimes I get a little carried away and talk too much with announcements and things like that. But generally speaking, it's time for the congregation to share the blessings of their life and the burdens of their heart. And I think people enjoy doing that. I've often said, you know, that uh, we're to bear one another's burdens, and we can best do that if we know what your burdens are. So people do need an opportunity to share the burdens of their life as well as the blessings that God has sent their way. Now you, like uh, me, like many of you, uh, perhaps grew up in the smaller churches across the land where worship was rather informal, and oftentimes, you know, we might... Uh, get a good spirit in singing and and uh, boy I mean you know the Lord may come and bless our hearts as we sing and somebody may be inspired to do what we call testify and I love testimonies I love spontaneous testimonies where people just stand and praise the Lord but looking back I remember so many testimonies not really being testimonies but people just anxious to share something that had happened to them uh, in the in the previous week, some special experience or some opportunity that they had, and and I just found you know that it really sometimes is more. Uh, but let me tell you what happened to me this week, or let me tell you what I did or what I didn't do, whatever the case may be. And uh, we're interested in knowing what happened to you this week. We want to know about the special blessing that came your way. We want to know about that wonderful experience that. If you don't have the opportunity to talk, talk about, you're going to bust. And then I think about prayer request time. We have genuine burdens upon our heart, and, you know, we have needs in our lives, and we're concerned about family and friends and neighbors, and, and I believe in legitimate prayer requests. And I always encourage people to share the burden of their heart, no matter how insignificant it may be. But you and I both have been in those services where at prayer time somebody got up and instead of really wanting us to pray about a situation, they just wanted us to know about it. They just wanted, you know, to be the first to tell about something that was going on in somebody else's life and, and uh, go on and on. I remember one dear old sister, and I miss her so much from our congregation here. She always had a prayer request and... And I tell you, by the time she got around to telling us who it was, we forgot what we're supposed to be praying for. It may go something like this. Well, it's my daughter-in-law's sister's nephew's husband, uh, cousin, or something like that. And, and you know, go all around trying to tell us what the need, uh, need was and who, who it was that had the need. And, and like I say, by that time, why, we really weren't sure how we ought to pray. And so I like family time. I like to give people an opportunity to share the blessings that they have and the experiences that they've had this past week and, and uh, what they've done or uh, something of that nature. And I like to know what's going on in your life and what burdens you're carrying. So, you know, I think it's a wonderful privilege that we have the freedom to share our blessings and our burdens with our church family I know that some churches are too large to do that, and I'm thankful that, that I'm not in one of those churches. I'm glad for the intimacy that we have in our congregation and the freedom that people have to do one of the greatest uh, things that can be done, 
and that is to share our life with others. And whether it be a blessing or whether it be a burden, we as the children of God, we as brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a wonderful privilege to share the blessings and to share our burdens. So I'm glad that I have so many that I can just open up to and let them know the burden of my heart or I can express the joy that I feel over something that has happened good in my life. And I think it's good when people do that as well, especially, you know, God answered prayer this week. That may be an encouragement to somebody that's praying and holding on for an answer to prayer. And so we need that time of just sharing our lives. I'm glad that uh, I have such wonderful brothers and sisters that I can share my heart with, that I can share my life with. So thank God for the privilege of being a child of God with so many wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, let's thank God for his family today and the privilege is, is we have of being a part of that wonderful family. Heavenly Father, we thank thee today that we can become the children of God and as children of God, we are brothers and sisters in the Lord and we just want to thank thee, Lord, for our church family, for our Christian family, for those who we call brother and those who we call sister. We thank thee, Lord, that we do have the privilege and what a blessing it is to be able to share the blessings and the burdens of life with those that we love as, as our uh, spiritual family. We pray that thou would help us to realize, as the poet said, what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. We thank thee for the thrill that does come from being a part of the family of God. Go with us throughout another day of life. We don't know what another day may bring forth, but... Lord, while we don't know the future, yet we know the one that holds the future. So we put our faith and our trust in you and continue to love and to serve thee. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for letting us share with you today. And find somebody to share your blessing. Find somebody to share your burden. It'll mean a lot to you and it may mean a lot to them. Goodbye now.